Hello, students and teachers. Welcome back to my class. So, as my last video, I was going to tell you that I will be giving the intro of the new My FWISD Apps page. So, this page will be brought to you by Class Link. That's the owner. So, let me show you here. In Google Chrome, you will open a new tab, and then you will type launchpad.classlink.com slash Fort Worth if you teach in the zone of, of Fort Worth. I ISD. I will leave the link in the in the bottom below so you can access it. So what we're gonna do here oh, sorry here is that we are going to, need to sign with Microsoft. As you see here the page is brought to you by a class link and once you have like this it'll show up. If you have like launchpad.classlink.com slash what worth. If you're a student and your Microsoft account is already there, it will sign you on automatically. But if you don't have it, you need to include it. And if it doesn't sign you automatically, you'll just click your account. Like this. It'll work for also the same as teachers as to students, remember. And the programs, the FWISD is going to count as a grade for pass and fail system. It will be Edgenuity. On Edgenuity, it will have the class courses like reading, mathematics, science, and social studies. So, students will do that work virtually in a to be able to pass the fifth and sixth six weeks. For here, it will appear for us a cheap 3,000 student or focus for for the teachers and administrators, it will show Achieve 3000 staff and Focus staff. The Focus page is also by also by Launchpad Class Link, and it will sign on with your Microsoft account. So the only thing you have to do is log into My Apps, and it will take you to your gradebook. As we see here, we are in the six, six weeks. So, I'm going to tell you the new program they had started. It It's the called Past and Fail System. So, what, let me show you here. What it basically means is that you will either get a P for Pass and F for Fail. Or failing so let's say you have a hundred percent it will be with a P instead of an A or B or if you got a 50 percent you'll get an F which means fail and I think that will be the same thing for the grades also of these so that's the new program pass Fail grading. So now I'm going to show you the program. The program is here. It says Edgenuity Courseware and My Path Student. For stats, for teachers, it'll say Edgenuity Courseware and My Path Staff. And here it will show your personal I. It will show your personal scores that you made throughout the lessons you do. And they said in the school they will do a, a lesson each week. So, this is the EL, ELA, my class of ELA, 83. My class of Pre-AP Science, 70. My class of Texas History is 84. 
and here in math, regular is 62. It will show also your grades, and it should say learning at home because since coronavirus issues has been spread spreading over here in the United States, we are doing our classes virtually. So, also another feature I would like to mention is Google Classroom. Google Classroom is for teachers to be able to communicate with you students so they can still post activities and they can help you to gain more to gain more of the passing score if you're failing in ingenuity or you need extra extra credit. Some of your teachers may have Google Classrooms and they might have to share them with you like this. First period, second period, third period, fourth period, fifth, sixth and seventh, and eighth. And here you can see what your teachers post and if the and if there's something and if there's something going on, okay? Like this. Teachers will also try to communicate with students by video chat meetings and they will start to use Google Hangouts by top security like this. So as you see here, my apps has the features we need for like the FWISD apps that was recently hacked. So it has Google Drive, it's learning, learning at home elementary and learning at home secondary for middle schools. They have Pearson, Core 5, and a lot of other programs that you might get interested in. I will leave the link down below so you can students access, and make sure you had reset your passwords by logging into Microsoft 365. I hope this video is good for you, and if you like, please make sure to subscribe, comment down below if any questions, and Turn on notifications so you never miss a video of mine. Thank you and have a good day. Bye-bye.